Well, hello there, everyone. Welcome to a new series I'm going to do. This is not going to be a full playthrough, obviously. Um, I'm going to be playing some Final Fantasy XI, guys. A, a game I never thought, ever, I would do on the channel. I've not played it in probably 12 years. And since I, s I recently started playing FF14 again, I kind of caught the, uh, the MMO bug. And I, I was thinking, I was like... Man, it would be really cool to play a little bit of Eleven again and just see how the game's changed since uh, since I played it as a, as a kid. And um, just to have some videos of it on the channel, because the game's getting on a bit. It's 18 years old. I can't quite believe it, but honestly, this game has such uh, a, a really big place in my heart. I really want to just re-experience some of it again, just just see what happens, you know? Just a casual kind of playthrough and and bathe in nostalgia, basically. So come along for the ride if you want to uh, discover this game along with me or rediscover it, if the case as the case may be. And uh, my god, there have been a lot of expansions over the years, haven't there? We're about to create our character. I, I have no idea how this is going to play. I've set up the controller, and I will <laughs> see if it works. The uh, the registration and actually getting this game to be completely set up was a little bit of a ball ache, but I kind of expected that. I hope it's going to run okay. It's obviously a very old game, um, and I'm playing it on a pretty modern system. But let's uh, let's create our character. I think the last time I played this game, Wings of the Goddess had just come out. So I have no idea what year that is. Um, I first played this way, way back. Probably 2003. I was about 12 or 13 at the time. And I used to play it on my uh, mother's laptop. Because I didn't have a computer that could run it at the time. And oh my god. Okay. Character creation. Dude. I have no idea what I want to go with. So, you've basically just got your races here, your Humes, Humans, Elvens, Elves, freaking adorable little guys, um, cat girls, you know, and big, big beefy boys. I'm probably just gonna go for a Hume, because that's the character I played back in the day. And for some reason, I've set up my controller wrong, because the square buttons co confirm for some reason. Uh, that's gonna take some getting used to. Uh, and, yeah, there's not going to be many options, at least not compared to FF14. Uh, so let's see. I think we're probably just going to go for um, for that one. Look, oh, we're running! We're running! I have no idea what area that is supposed to be. It's going to be amazing to see what I remember and what I don't. Uh, but this game, honestly, my first MMO, I remember it being really difficult. Very unforgiving. Uh, I guess we're gonna go for that hair. Small, medium, large. What does that correspond to? I have no idea. Let's go large. Let's go big or go home. And we get to choose our job. Now, I'm gonna go with um, what I started as, uh, which is a warrior. I usually go for a kind of a melee class, at least at first. Um, but as far as I'm aware, you can kind of just swap to, and do all the different jobs as one character, which I thought was pretty standard when I first played it, but other MMOs don't do that, so... Uh, although saying that, I've only ever played World of Warcraft as well as this. I, I'm, I'm not really an MMO player. I've mostly stuck to um, Final Fantasy XIV over the years. But this was my first love, and we are going to name it, I guess. Um... I have no idea if this will work. Um, and we get to choose a world. I guess we'll go for Bahamut, because he's my favorite summon in the series. And Gold World Pass? I have no idea what that is. Checking name. Error code. Transmission with... Oh, God. Well, this isn't going to be a good start, is it? I hope I can actually connect to a world. Let's go for Valifor. I, 
hope this works. Oh no. Oh, the name you entered is unavailable. Okay. Well, let's not go for mage then. Let's go for something... Let's go for something random. Um... Oh, plus key's not working. Okay. Um... Crap. What did I... What did I call my character back in the day? I have no idea. What did I call my character? I think it was a really lame name. I know what it was! It was... Tetrex. I thought that was the coolest name when I played this. That... I'm sure that's the name. It's terrible, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna do it for the old, for the lols. Tetrex. What a shit name. I thought it was so clever. Let's try Val 4 again. Wherever the hell it's gone. Where's it gone? Where the hell did it go? Oh, there we go. Fingers crossed. Yeah, no one's gonna have that name. And we get to choose our starting region. Okay, so... They're all pretty good. Uh... And, you know, they have story things about them. Windhurst is basically where all the little people live, the Taru Taru. Bastok is where the big Galkas are, and Sandy is more elven. But I started out in, uh, in Sanda Oria, or however you say it, we just call it Sandy. I've got to do it. Sandy, um, is, is like your traditional medieval kind of castle town, which is really cool. I really like that. And that's one thing I love about this game as a whole, is is how kind of it reminded me more of of the older Final Fantasies than sort of your sevens and your eights and things like that, so we're gonna go with Sandy. Register Tetrex. I can't believe I'm doing this. Oh man. I really hope this works. Player data registered, okay. Playing this game in 2020. Dear God. Oh, okay. So, um, for those of you who don't know, this is still a subscription-based game, so you have to pay. Um, oh. Oh, this music, dude. Sorry, I've had a thing pop up there. Okay. Oh. Oh, those bagpipes, man. God, I'm going back to being 12 playing this on my mum's laptop. The fortress city of Sandaria lies to the north of the great continent of Quan? Beating heart of an ancient kingdom. Now, I probably will just try and play some of the story. I don't know how far I'm going to get in this game. I've only, I'm only going to sub to for it, well, sub for about a month, I'd say. Because I am pretty busy with FF14. And that is my main focus, but... Look at those airships, man. Those classic airships. I just want to see what this game is like. I want to scratch that itch. Because I've kind of toyed with playing this game for a few years now, but I just never thought I'd do it. I never thought I'd get around to it. And uh, I didn't even know that it was still widely played, and apparently there's still a pretty damn good player base. So we are a new adventurer. Uh, make a name for ourselves. Now, being as it's a very old game, I'm pretty sure, unless they've updated it, which they might have done, it's probably going to be a little bit clunky. But I, I really... I can't... W I love this world, man. I remember, like... I lost so many hours of my life to this game. And it... Being my first MMO, it just blew my mind that there were other people... It was a whole world filled with filled with other people, like real people, you know, that you could talk to and they could help you and you could help them and Oh man. Oh man, here we go. Dude, how is this even gonna control anymore? And uh, yeah, there's like there's no voice acting. At least from what I remember. Um I'm not gonna be reading dialogue as such. I'm kind of just going to be flubbing my way through it. A new recruit, are you? That explains it. Um, also, the game window is, like, pretty pretty small. I might have to uh, increase it. It's pretty tiny. Um, 
So yeah, we're, we're going to get through this intro. I am probably going to see if I can increase the size of the UI, because it is it is pretty small. Um, I'm so excited just to see what it's like. I, I really don't think I'm going to get very far, but... Honestly, this has already given me so much. Just, just hearing this music again. And just knowing that I'll have some videos of this game on the channel, a game that meant so much to me and still does, is really why I'm doing this. So, read the text if you want, guys. I guess you can pause it if, if it really matters to you, but... Uh, once we get let loose, so to speak... Do, 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 do. And honestly, um, the zone outside of this city that we're starting in, Ron, Ron Fair, I think it's called. The music there is probably one of my favorite pieces of music in anything ever. It's phenomenal. I have no idea who these people are. I really don't remember much of the story. Because I, I, I honestly don't think I got very... Even though I played this game to death... Leveling back then was really tough. It took forever, and when you died, you lost XP, so you could level down as well. I don't know if that's still a thing. And, um... It's not like FF14, where you can queue for dungeons and stuff. You had to just, like, send out shouts and hope people were partying up to kill stuff. And uh, I only got to, like, level 30. I think I got to level 30 warrior. Or I may have become a paladin. But yeah, the, the whole game could be so different from, from what I remember, because it's been like 12 years since I last played it. I think, yeah, I think it was like 2008. I, uh, I resubscribed to it for a little bit. In fact, I think it was... I think the last time I may have played it was the night before Metal Gear Solid 4 came out. I have distinct memories of talking to people online on this game about Metal Gear Solid 4 and being so hyped for its release. Um, okay, something you'd like to know. Nothing, actually. Uh, I'd like to get out of the city. I'd like to do some shopping. I, I think we'll be fine. We'll, we'll figure things out. Oh, this map. Oh, man. Dude. Adventure coupon. Give it to Talisa or Tailsa at the uh, bottom of the staircase or staircast in Northern Sandaria. Okay, she'll help you out. Okay, so that's our objective. Uh, lady of traditional elven upbringing, so try not to say anything that will <laughs> offend her sensibilities. Okay. Uh, to give items to others, select trade from the main menu. Oh god, yeah, I'm gonna have to relearn all these systems. But we've got 34 HP. We are solo. And I'm probably... I, I don't know if I'm going to end up ever partying with people on this. I really don't. Um, okay, so we can target people with the D-pad. That's good. Uh, this is our menu. So we got our status. Oh, X is confirmed. That's weird. What is it? Hang on. No, I don't think it is. What am I doing? Oh, we've got... Yeah, I'm gonna have to learn the controls, because I've set up this controller and it's probably not what I intended. Okay, X is main menu. Right, okay. So, status. We're level... We're a level one warrior. We don't have much going for us right now. You can check your job levels. Which we... You know, we're starting out, so we don't really have anything. Profile. There we go. Combat skills. God, I've complete. I, I think, yeah, you would gain proficiency in different areas depending on what weapons you use. Uh, we don't have any magic right now. With those crafting in this game, I won't be doing any of the crafting, I don't think. Uh, currencies, we probably have no money. Um... Yeah, I, uh, I think we'll... Can we check our equipment? How do we check our equipment? I have no idea. Oh! 
The camera's the shoulder buttons. Okay. That's fine, at least I know now. Um, I could play this with keyboard, it's probably a bit easier, but... Um... How do I check my equipment? I have no clue. Oh, there we go. Equipment. So we have basic stuff here. We'll pr uh, an onion sword. So as you can see, like, even just the menus are very old school. And, um... I think we'll, uh, we'll equip the Union Sword. There we go! Yes! Do we have... We don't have a shield or anything. No. Do we have any other equipment? No. We're, we've, we're all equipped, though, so let's, um... Let's see if I can figure out how to check the map. There we go. Okay, so yeah, it's very bare bones. And I'm probably gonna struggle with that. Um, like, there's, I don't think there's like a quest marker. There might be for all I know, but I don't know how to use it. Um, synthesis, I forget what that is, unless that's, I think that's actually the crafting. Items. We've got a special gobby dial key. Okay. An adventurous coupon. All right. Let's go have a wonder, guys. Don't know how well this game's gonna run. There she is. I need to talk to you. But you see what I mean? Like, there's there's nothing above her that would signify that we need to talk to her. It's, uh... It's gonna take some getting used to. I'm Telsa, one of the faithful. Ever do I seek the way of paradise. Or to paradise, I should say. I want to find some quests! I want to try the tutorial event. I probably should, but... Uh, I want a map of the area I'm in. I already have a map of that, don't I? Oh yeah, we need to trade with her. That's what we need to do. How do I trade with her? Oh, that's how I open up the... Th oh god. Guys, we could be... Trade. Oh, this is so weird. Adventure coupon. Okay. It worked. If you lose your way, choose map on your main menu. Here, let me give this in exchange for your adventure coupon. By the west gate in southern is a woman named Alone. Speak with her. She has knowledge that will surely aid your aspirations. Okay, we've got 50 gil! We've got some money! Way! Cool! Right. Let's see if I remember the layout of this place. Just, just the look of it is giving me such nostalgia. So we're, we're at the, the boat. Oh, we got a crystal. What's this do? Home point. You've registered a new home point. So yeah, whenever you die, you return there, I think. That would make sense, right? Travel to another home point. Set this as your home point. Well, I think I already have done. Uh, can I... I don't have any other home points. I have none. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I forget if this is like... I don't think fast travel is a thing in this. Apart from traveling between home points, maybe? I really have no clue. I remember one big thing was, like, at level 20, you could get your chocobo mount, which made things a whole lot easier, but the trip to get there was horrendously dangerous. Oh, dude. Right, so, we need to figure out where we need to go. I... Oh, God. Just remember the controls for this. Right, map. Where are we going? Um, so the North Auction House is pretty close by. We're near the airship docks. We want to go to Northern... Yeah, because we're at the port right now, so... I either go to the residential area or Northern. I don't think it really matters. There's no, like... There is a mini-map, but it's not very good. 
So, it really is, I'm gonna get lost all the time. And it is like 3 a.m. by the way, and I just couldn't wait. I was gonna record this like during the day, but I installed it and I was like, dude, I've gotta play it. I've gotta play it, man. Um, and I probably next time, I'll, I'll change my controller settings and see if I can figure it out a bit better, but... Okay, Northern Sandy. I used to- I used to skip school for this game, guys. I really did. I, um... I just have so many memories of- of being ill. And just spending the whole day, like, trying to get parties, trying to level up. And I- I swear, I- I only got to level 30. Um... Have you heard what's going on in, uh, Adulin? The land to the west? No, I- No idea. So yeah, please don't watch this if you're into the story. This is not going to be a full playthrough. It's just a... I don't know. Mage revisiting a game from his childhood. That's all this is. Uh, yes, you can help me, hopefully. You want to know more about the colonization project? No idea what that is. I can't believe this game is 18 years old. Man, I feel old. I have a I have a rather interesting story, actually. I guess now's the time to tell it. Um, I was so hyped for this game that I bought a um, a copy of it on PS2. However, I bought it from America, and. We tried for ages to get it to work, but it just wouldn't work because it's, you know, not... I didn't understand at the time, and neither did my parents, that games were, like, region locked. So we tried to get a PlayStation that was chipped, that could play American games, and that did, did work, except we couldn't log in. Because of... I can't remember the reason, but basically it just wasn't ever going to work. And I was so gutted, because I used to read, like, the manual desperate to play this game and it just wouldn't work so it was like right well we could get it on PC so we did and then I played it on my mum's laptop and um, she obviously paid for my subscription as well as part of my pocket money I guess and um, oh we got a new home point there we go so I can register so could I technically travel to that other one that I just current region sandy yeah, so we can just zoom straight back to the port. Okay, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, I eventually I wanted to play it on my own computer. I had a laptop uh, that my parents bought for me. And I was installing FF11 for ages on it. And wouldn't you know it, it didn't run. It was My laptop was not good enough. Because uh, my parents didn't really know how computer games worked, I guess. And they didn't know that it had minimum specs. So I ended up having to still play it on my mum's laptop, and I did until uh, 2008, when I could actually run it on a PC that I had. Um, right, so where are we now? We're in Northern Sandy. I think we... I really want to get out and do some combat in this uh, session, so let's see where we are. I really am going to have to get used to these controls. Um... Right, we want to go to Southern Sandy, so... Yeah, and you've got things like Carpenter's Guild, Blacksmith Guild. I remember this area being heavily... Oh, West Ronfair, dude. Ronfair Gate, we're really close. Oh, okay, we're going that way. We're going that way, guys. Western Ronfair. I am totally going to get lost. So, well, you'd think it would be towards the west, right? That's the Blacksmith Guild. Uh, but yeah, I've no idea if people are going to really watch this series. This is really more for me than, any than anything else. I just wanted to have some videos of this game 
so I, I can one day say I've got all the Final Fantasies on my channel in, in some form or fashion. And that'd be pretty cool. And I think I've gone the wrong way. I knew that would happen. I think I've just gone where I came. Yeah, we're back at the port. Okay, that's not good. Uh, especially with these loading times. Nope, sorry, going back. Oopsie daisy. So, so this game, uh, class system, you can be any job. You just swap over, I think, uh, a thing called Moogle House, I remember. Um, and eventually you could unlock, like, a sub job. So you could be, like, a warrior as your main job, and then a white mage as your sub job. So your warrior could use some healing magic, things like that, which I thought was really cool. And they kind of had that in 14, at least in 1.0, and then they scrapped it because it was, it was kind of broken. But, um... I don't know if that's still a thing in this one. I really don't. Um, okay, so... We go... It's telling me to go straight. Up the stairs, maybe? Let's go this way. I'm not going to bother talking to any NPCs, really, although I'm sure I should do. God, I remember this camera not being great. I have no idea how to change that. Like, is there no way of moving the camera up and down? Like, I could just move it left to right. I have no idea. Um, this is... Some sort of shop, I think. Oh, it's the Royal Armory. Where the hell am I going? This place is so confusing. But I think I'm think I know where I'm going now. I think this is the general direction. Uh, can I move the camera with like my mouse under? Oh, I can. Okay, that might be better. Might be better just playing it with keyboards. I don't know. Freaking Tetrex. The return of Tetrex. The worst name ever devised by humankind. Here we go. Now this is looking more familiar. I'm, go I'm gonna freak out when we get to Ronfair, guys. I'm warning you right now. It's gonna be insane. The music is gonna wash over me and I'm gonna be just a ball of emotion. It's gonna be biblical. These decorations. I still think it's not a bad looking game, really. I mean, for the time, it was just, it blew me away. It really did. Right, I think that's, that's south, so that's kind of where we could go. Uh, where the hell? All right, I've gone past it, okay. Yeah, I, I completely went past it. Ah. Back we go. Go. Which way did I just come from? <laughs> you take things for granted in these modern games where they have a mini-map that's actually useful. I wouldn't... I bet there's, like, mods and stuff for this. But I really don't know. Again, I'm not going to get too invested in this. It's really just to play a little bit of the game, nice and casually. See how high a level I can get. Maybe do a couple of quests. Nothing... Nothing major. And I'm going to be playing this as and when I can. I'm not going to be playing it all the time. But, um... For the next 30 days, I will definitely try and make time for it. Because otherwise, I can, I'm wasting my money. Uh, but this looks like we're going the right... W this is the way. Let's get another home point registered so when we die... Also, I'm guessing this is tutorial stuff. A hunt registry has been placed here by the Adventurers Mutual Aid Network. I have no idea what this is. Undertake a hunt? I'd rather just go do some leveling first before I try anything else. It's music though, wow. Uh, Alright, so that's registered, I think. 
Oh, we got some Moogles. We got some Moogles. Oh, look, we got some... Are they actual players? I have no idea. Look at this dude. What the hell? Yeah, no, I think that's... I have no idea what that is. I have no idea. There's going to be so much of that where I'm like, what is going on? Okay. Here we go. Oh, are we ready? Come on, music. No, I don't want this music. Why is this music still going on? Wait a minute. No! No game! No, don't do this to me! How do I turn this music off? Okay, um, I'm back. I've logged back in and this music is still playing, so I'm guessing it's just because of this event that's on, which really sucks. I hope that it's not going to be everywhere. In fact, I bet if I left this zone from another way and came back, we might... It might change it. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to fight some stuff. We're going to fight some stuff. We're, we're playing the game. We might as well. Uh, we've got some dingbats. And I don't know how you know how strong they are. I think yellow might be... I have no idea. I don't even know how we're going to fight. So... It plays a lot more like a single-player Final Fantasy in the way that the menus are. So, attack... And here we go. This is the battle music, dude. So yeah, it should be auto attack. There we go. Oh, we missed. Um, obviously, our sword skill is not going to be very good right now. And as you can see, we're, you were, um, we're increasing those just by fighting. Uh, we've nearly killed it, although we keep missing. And then you can go to your abilities, weapon skills, job abilities. We got 400 XP, dude. Oh, this music is depressing to me. I want the Ronfair music, game. It's so much better. It's legit one of the best pieces of music I've ever heard in my life. Let's kill a wild rabbit. Do I have any of my abilities? I have mighty strikes. Let's do it. Oh, look at this. Oh, those spell animations still look great. Oh my god. Boom. Da, 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 da. We leveled! We're at level 2! Excellent. Now, as you level, killing the same weak monsters will probably give us less XP. I'm guessing. Do we have any abilities? Like weapon skills yet? No. Oh, this is crazy, dude. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm playing this. It would be so much better if I had the proper music, though. Um, and I remember this game having an auction house. I don't know if that's going to be still a thing. Otherwise, I guess I'd have to buy equipment from the shops. We'll find it. I really no idea how I'm going to gear myself up. But at least uh, we're getting... Oh, there we go. Parrying level one. We're really, really not accurate with the sword. But then again, they are bats. They would be pretty hard to hit. Dude, level three already? I got a bat wing and beastman seal. I think... Well, I can sell the bat wing. I guess. Oh, boy. Um, God, we're level 3 already? That's insane. Yeah, I am. Level... Level 3. I wonder... I wonder if it... I mean, it could have... They could have changed it to make it much easier to level. Or maybe it always was this easy? Well, I guess we'll see. Um, what I remember in this area, there were some orcs over this way. In fact, there we go. There's one of them. Let's see if we can kill an orc. And then we got some worms and some 
basically just tougher enemies. I think the, the yellow in the name means that they're, um... Possibly not too... I have no idea. I have no idea. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We've aggroed two of them. This isn't good. We might be okay. Yeah, and that Mighty Strikes ability is an hourly cooldown on that. Holy crap. Oh boy. Yeah, we're probably gonna die here. But that's okay. I want to see if we do lose XP like we used to. They are so gonna kill me. Oh, that looks painful. Oh gosh. Yep, about to die. Let's see what happens. There we go. Ugh. Back to home point. So, yeah, the way it used to work was you definitely lost XP and you could go down levels. I'm sure that was a thing. I'm sure that was a thing. The crystal resonates deep within your soul. Oh? What is this? There was some story content here? What the hell? Who is this? Vanadiel, which is the name of the world, by the way. I must make haste for Ryzen Jima to find the master before... God, I have no idea. This... Oh! What's Rhapsodies of Vanadiel? I have no idea what this is. Is it expansion stuff? Is it just a story event? Wait, why am I here? Did I not set my home point? I mustn't have done it. Oh well. At least we got this proper music playing again now. I hope, I hope it'll stay. Oh, it didn't. No, it didn't. God damn it. Guys, why you do this? Why you do this to me? Now I have to find my way back. Which I should be able to do. Um, so I'm just going to meet you guys back outside of the city. Okay, we're back outside. I, I wonder if this music would stop playing during the day. Because obviously, you know, you set fire off uh, fireworks off at night time. I don't know, but let's kill some worms. Let's kill some tunnel worms. Oh, it disappeared. It disappeared! Well, okay, we'll kill another rabbit then. Yeah, we, we haven't de-leveled. We may have lost some XP, but it's okay. Um, and we'll just explore some of this zone. I might make a run for the next zone, because I think I remember what it was called. Or at least I remember what it looks like. Hey, Parrying skill level 5. Sword skill level 4. We might be uh, learning a uh, weapon ability soon. I don't know when. But I know warriors will learn, like, provoke. Let's kill this, let's kill this worm before he buggers off. Yo. Sword skill rising, evasion skills. But yeah, I, I kind of liked this system where, you know, the more you did something, the better you got at it. Kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy 2, but not as broken as that. Uh, but yeah, we want to watch out for those orcs, don't we? We want to be a bit stronger before we tackle those guys again. Yeah, and as you can see in the top left, you've got HP, MP, and TP, which I think is used for your abilities. Like your weapon abilities, possibly. Uh, but we 
We're still getting good XP from these things. So we'll be level 4 before we know it. Um, do I have a map for this place or do I have to get a map? No, we still we do have a map. Okay, so yeah. Ah, Le, Le Tien Plateau? I think that's how you say that? I want to go there. It's probably super dangerous for us at this level, but we're going to see if we can get there. I wish this music wasn't here, though. This would be so much better with the regular music, guys. But there is definitely an event on, as you can hear, that fireworks are going off constantly. I just picked the wrong time. But who knows? I, I can always come back here once the event's over. It's just weird that it would be going on even outside of the city. Usually, I mean, like, FF14, for example, when there's a big event on that changes the music in a, in a town, once you leave that town, the music's the, exactly the same again. Oh, we've got mouse bats, we've got, oh, we got some, we got some higher level stuff here. That thing looks a little bit scary. I don't know if it's going to aggro me. I don't know. I know the orcs will, but I really can't remember which enemies do and which ones don't. Oh, we got wild sheep. every chance we're going to get murdered. Again. <laughs> but I set my home point correctly this time, so we will see. Oh god, yeah, we got some, we got some orcs nearby now, it's not good. Oh, back in the day, there'd be people running around here, leveling, stealing kills off each other. Good times. And it really did. This game definitely, like, encouraged partying up to take on tougher enemies. That was really the only way I remember being able to, to level fast at all. But it's so different from modern MMOs. Ah, oh, we found ourselves the outpost. I don't think there's really much to do here. Again, I think what we might try and do is maybe like uh, one of the missions for each nation. Like, I'll have to talk to someone, I'll probably have to look it up, to see how we kick off, like, the, the story, if you will. I know I was supposed to talk to someone, I can't remember her name now, but... Really, I, I don't know. I, we'll see what I feel like. The glow of the campfires, though. So good. I remember there being some ruins in this area, actually. That you have to go to. In fact, we might be coming up on them now. I think these were part of a story mission. Possibly. But we're getting close to the end of the zone, or the exit. And hopefully we'll be away from these goddamn fireworks. Because, holy shit, guys. That's a lot of fireworks. Pretty sure we're near the exit. Kind of just going off a little bit of memory here. Ah, here we go. Yeah. But I'm sure many of you who have played this game will know much more about it than me. Uh... I'm just, I'm, I'm just seeing what I can remember and what's changed. Right, can we get rid of this music, please? Thank you. Okay, I wonder if I went back now, would I be able to listen to the regular? What the? That's a Tomos. What the hell is that doing here? What is that? That's a Tomos, dude! Ca Cavernous Moor. Is that like an NPC? I mean, it's not attacking me. Nothing happens. I have no idea what that's all about, but that's cool as fuck. 
That is totally a Tomos from, like, FF9. Dude, I have no idea what that's all about. And please, in the comments, if you do know, let me know. Because I'd, I'd love to... Even though I'm probably not going to have anything to do with it, I'd like to, you know, see what's going on. Now, yeah, this, this area is going to be way too high level for us. So I'm going to go back. And uh, fingers crossed the music will be good. Good old-fashioned Ron Fair music. Uh, but if not, we'll probably just kill a few more things. Try and get a decent level. And then go back to town and get some quests. No, it's still the same, dude. Seriously. You play this music instead of Ron Fair music? This is an insult. This is a goddamn insult. Fine. Well, you know what, chaps? I think we're probably going to call it for a session anyway. I'll, I'll do some leveling off screen. Um... At some point, I don't know when. I, I really need to get some sleep. It's like nearly 4 a.m. But I hope you're gonna enjoy the series. I don't know how long, how many videos it's gonna be. I just I just really want to play this game again for a little bit. And uh Yeah, apart from the music. I'm I'm very excited. Can I uh can I kill this forest hare even if it's all the way over here? Is it gonna be a super high level one? Am I going to die again? I really don't know how the scaling works. Ooh, okay, well I'm not hitting it. There we go. Hey, we've learned Fast Blade. Okay, first ability. Weapon skill. Fast Blade. Uses... How much TP does it use? I have no idea. Oh, I don't have any enough TP for it. Okay, so it's charging over time. Does it tell me how much I'd need to use it? Damage varies with TP. How much you need? Maybe 500? 400? Nope, still not enough. We need to do some damage to this hair because he's kicking my ass. Maybe a thousand? It might tell me somewhere, but I have no idea. Critical hit, then. We're still looking really, really ropey here. But at least we're getting some skills built up. Doesn't really matter if we die. Must be a thousand. Gotta be. Here we go. Whoa, and the audio cut out. But we did some good damage there. We may just beat it. No. Wow, that was so close. That was a high level rabbit. But we got evasion up to 7, and sword skill up to 7, and we learned a new weapon skill. So I'm going to return to my home point. Thanks for watching this, guys. I really don't know how entertaining this is going to be, but again, this is more for my benefit. And uh, maybe next time we log in, we'll actually have some decent music, because that's my biggest disappointment. I want to listen to the Ron Fair music, guys. I might actually go listen to it on YouTube, like, right now. But, um... There probably will be another part to this. In fact, there will be, definitely. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do, but I hope you guys enjoy the ride, uh, however long it lasts. So thank you for watching, everyone. Please do like the video, all that stuff. Check out the description. Dude, no, before... You, no, I'm not ending the video yet. I can't. The real music's back, which makes me think if we leave now, we get to listen to the Runfair music, and that's how I'll end the video. Dude, that's what we're going to do, like right now. I'm going the wrong way, though. I'm going the wrong way. Oh, I knew it. I thought, because morning has just arrived. I thought... And then the music changed. I was like, dude, this is totally... This is our time. This is it. I'm sorry for that fake out with the with the video there. In, in fact, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. But we got to do this. Before I log off, I must hear it. Please. Yes! Oh my god. Oh my god, guys.
I am instantly transport. I'm 12 again, man. Oh, dude. This is what I wanted. Thank you. I'm so glad it wasn't all the time with that new music. I'm actually, I'm genuinely like nearly tearing up here. This music, man. Oh my god. Yes. Honestly, one of my favorite pieces of music of all time. My god, that that is what I needed. Thank you for watching everyone. Again, sorry for the uh, extended little bit to the video here, but I had to do it. I had to do it. That is what I'm talking about. Oh man. Yes! Thank you for watching everyone. I will see you for the next episode of Final Fantasy XI. Can you believe it? Holy crap. This is Snake, telling you to subscribe to Mage Masher 22 on YouTube and Twitch. Snake out.